Hello everybody and welcome to the Creator Cast. This is episode two, I believe. Four, sorry, this is episode four. I am talking to Kirakaya. I, I believe that's how I pronounce it. Um yeah, let's get into it. Okay. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Oh, wait, sorry. I'm doing... Wait, what? No, I was recording. I just forgot to switch to your camera on. Oh! So, I just kind of had a wait, brain glitch out moment. Oh, we love those moments. Aren't they the best? Yeah, fantastic. So, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm somehow not dead. Uh, that but we're doing great. always a win. Yeah, good lord, Insomniac is killing me. Insomniac? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, the, the suit. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. that consuming my life right now. Is it, um, so you're puff painting the back emblem, right? Oh, I've, I've done pretty much almost everything. I'm just putting a second layer on the gauntlets. Jeez, that sounds kind of horrible. Oh, yeah, I've been up since 2 a.m. for the past two nights, and it doesn't sound like much until you realize I work a 9 to 5, I get home and immediately do that the entire time. Oh, that sounds brutal. Yeah, it's great. Why do I do this to myself? Well, you know what? Everybody in the community could ask themselves that same question. Yeah. Listen, I'm just happy I got these little things done. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, those look amazing. Yeah, little trick of just spray cans and prayers. <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful mask. Thank you. Yeah, I had a uh, friend of mine, Best Buy in the Galaxy, actually resin print these for me because I don't have the resin printer yet, but yeah. uh, I did everything else. That's awesome. Like, uh, this is, yeah, this files by KA K Cosplay Tech. It's great. That's awesome. I haven't really shown it off much until the whole thing's done, but there you go. Hey, it's a sneak peek on my channel. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> my camera is being really slow and laggy right now. It's it's not terrible. It's about average, at least from my perspective, from Discord standards. Yeah. Okay. That's that's fair. But like, yeah. When I move my arm like up, there's like at least over yeah. a second of delay. Oh really? Yeah. But yeah. So this this is my pet project. My the McFarlane Ulu shell. McFarlane shell. That yes. is quite clean. I need to redo it because I don't like how the lens has turned out. Fair enough. <laughs> I've been there plenty of times. Every Everybody I've talked to, it's always been, I don't like it, so I'm going to redo it. And are you going to or not? Exactly. It's like half the people say we'll do it, and then we don't. Yeah. Nah. And then you have mad people like me, just like, I'll do it. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's like, um, I think it was the longest cosplay or the spandex guy. One of them got a PS4 suit and ended up getting three of them. Because... Uh, did, did he dragon skin it? Because I think that was spandex guy. Yes, that was spandex. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks gorgeous though. I, it does. I um, I need to look more into people's stuff because like, the amount of stuff that people can do with just doing it at home is incredible. Oh yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Like uh, I wanted to do uh, well. I kind of wanted to do dragon skin as my second idea for uh, the insomniac suit, but I am on a time crunch with it. That's fair. What? Why are you on? Yeah, because I'm. Uh, try and get the video and content out for it when the game comes out. Smart. Uh, which is the 20th. Oh but, my gosh. Uh, yeah. I had urethane emblems. They were too small, so I had to resort to puff painting. But we're getting, it's almost done, so we're in the home stretch. I um, have... But yeah, it's like, it's wild what people can do with it. I have very, um, mixed views on puff painting. Because I love, I love uh, it, and it totally makes sense for like creators that I don't know. 
can't afford like crazy high quality webbing or I mean emblems but like part of it gets to me the perfectionist part of my brain when it's like you can see the lines yeah well uh, here's the thing there's something we call the five foot rule and as long as you can barely see it from five feet away it doesn't really matter which most of the time with like puff hang and stuff like that like if it's like a pretty decent job like half decent job if from five feet away or more, like if, like on a camera, you're not gonna see it. Yeah, that's fair. Unless like the light is really hitting it, but it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah. Also, for context, in case anybody can't actually see it, well, I don't have a black eye. I just have like a web. Just. No, no, no. I see what happened. I actually went over there and uh, I wanted a sandwich and. She had a sandwich, so I stole the sandwich and punched her in the eye and ran off. Dang it, I was, try I was, I was trying to hungry. keep that on the down low, but yeah. it's <laughs> exactly what happened. I, I gotta let him know. Gotta let him know. <laughs> so, um, how did you kind of get into the cosplay world? Because you cosplay a lot more okay. than just Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Uh, there are two possible origins for that. Both are extremely goofy. <laughs> okay. So... The first one was back in, um, I think it was, I think it was October of 2020. Um, it was Halloween. I was still in high school. Uh, it was my senior year, and I was uh, gonna go uh, out for Halloween. We'll just uh, give out candy with my friends. Yeah. And I decided it would be a funny idea to uh, get an Astolfo costume off of like some random website I never heard of before. Oh gosh. If you don't know who Astolfo is, he's a character from uh, the Fate series, and he is well known as the Lord of the Femboys. <laughs> okay. So I got an Astolfo cosplay in a pink um, sailor, uh, in a pink sailor schoolgirl outfit. Wow. And that bowed extremely well with my friend's conservative parents. Oh. That was an awkward dinner. <laughs> like, just, oh, we're going out for Halloween. And then... And I just show up. <laughs> oh. I could see how that uh, would be it... bad. Oh, no, they thought it was funny. Oh, really? And, yeah. And wow. then my friend's actual, like, uh, my friend's uh, dad and and stepmom walked out, walked over, like, during Halloween. I didn't know they were showing up, and they are... Heavy churchgoers. They were just like taken aback. The hell is that? <laughs> that that was funny. <laughs> and then the second possible origin, because like that was the end of that. Like after that, I didn't really do anything until yep. uh, July of 2021, shortly after I graduated. So like all good things, it starts on Discord. Obviously. And I was in this uh, server for a uh, anime figure collector, and I thought it would be funny because this one moderator's on there, waifu is a Taiga Isaka from Toradora. So I thought it would be funny to get a Taiga costume, and then randomly post pictures of it one day. It's like, hey, you you like this? <laughs> so basically, and you started out it, just by like, memeing. Basically, basically, I I'm, love I, that. I'm a. I'm a born shit poster. <laughs> but that's when it, like, actually started, like, becoming a snowball effect. Because, like, after Taiga, I got uh, Miku Nakano cosplay, and then, like, it started going from there. That's that's awesome. Your latest cosplay. Uh, well, if we're not counting the one that I'm working on right now, um, it probably would be my, um, my, Raimi, suit, my Raimi symbiote suit. You did a Raimi which I too? Have, Yeah, I haven't released pictures of it yet, but I have them. I'm kind of waiting to uh, uh, round more Halloween-ish. So that way I can do uh, my Morticia Adams pictures and kind of like alternate them. That's smart. Yeah, That's I really just have that costume like in my other room. I just need to style a wig. That and then uh, I have someone doing a photo shoot with me at a graveyard, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> <sighs> I just like don't scare off any people going there to see family. 
Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> or is that the goal? We'll see how much of a memer I feel like at that point. Oh, gosh. Okay. No, no, no. Probably not. Be respectful. I, um... I thought about that. Just, like, could you imagine just going up to, like, your family's grave and then you look up and just see black-suited Raimi? Oh, no, no. That would be Morticia. That would be Morticia? Okay. Yeah, because, like, wait, I got the black suit done. <laughs> that Even that would still be horrifying. Oh, yeah. Well, Morticia's just hot. <laughs> I, I, She's I can... like the OG goth mother. The OG goth mother. I feel that on a personal yeah. level. Yeah, she is literally me. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel that though. Most people do not understand. We understand. We understand. Um, so... Okay. You sent me a... Oh, okay, waiting for my camera to catch up with me. Okay. Okay, anyway. Uh, you sent me a picture of some guts of steel. Oh, God. Uh, what's a steel? The guts of steel. The Iron Man chest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Is that... it takes guts of steel to have to divulge your life into a, a suit. <laughs> So is that a project you're making, or is that somebody else's? Oh no, that's I'm making that. That's impressive. Yeah, uh, definitely. I've uh, been wanting to do that for a while since uh, I rediscovered watching uh, Frankly Built last year, and then actually meeting him and hanging out with him in person earlier this year. Which he is a fantastic guy. Like he is like one of the most realest people I've ever met. Really? In the content creation space with cosplay. Yeah. He is just like, I'm here to have fun. I'm not here. Like, it's just not like content oriented. Like a lot of cosplayers are at cons, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, like he'll just talk to anybody. It's just like, he is like, holy crap. Why can't more people be like this man? That's awesome. I, I feel uh, like I want to be the kind of person that's there to meet people and take photos with them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to do that because I've been seeing, like, in the cosplay game more and more, unfortunately, people are viewing it as just a content farm. Yeah. And that's why I'm, like, I haven't uploaded, like, in, like, a month because I used to upload weekly. And ever since I started realizing this and had some people, like, blow me off, because of uh, wanting to do content instead, yeah. me not being worth their time, which I kind of did that too. Yeah. And when I saw that, I was like, oh my god, I'm not doing this. So, like, it, at the end of the day, we're here to have fun and make silly costumes and hang out and meet new friends. Exactly. Like, yeah, get your content, like, of course, but... You it's, can't... It's just something called priorities and balance. Exactly. Which like I'm starting to find. What's the what's the fun in just making content if you're not also like yeah. talking with people and having a good time? Yeah, and that's why I'm not filming a build series on my Iron Man suit. I keep pointing to it because it's right there, but it's off view. Um, but I'm not making a video about it. Maybe update videos, but because I just want to enjoy the build process and learn how to build it as I go and have fun doing it. Yeah, it's one of the best things. Like um. I tried to make a um, an Iron Man suit a while back. Yeah, I saw that video. Yeah, did you watch it? <laughs> uh, I was going to click on it. I got distracted and I forgot. Good. So Don't watch I guess it. you're lucky if it's that bad. Yeah, it's um. Was it the helmet one? Yeah. Yeah. So I 3D printed the helmet glued two pieces together and spray painted it and it was a 20 minute video this one i'm what? like it was mandalorian helmet i'm like i installed that mando helmet something. looks clean from here though thank you well no this one i took such good care of i like sanded it i had to glue pieces together fix it i installed bluetooth headphones in it and oh my god you did that and that's a 13 minute video <laughs> Yeah, you could get, like, so much more done and, like, make it more, so much more concise, which I've also been working on. Yeah. Like, 
Because, like, I made, like, my first Iron Man helmet video. I hate it. I'm debating to bring it down for the same reasons. It's yeah. 20 minutes. All I did was assemble the pieces. Exactly. That's it. And you know what's funny? I'm not, I didn't even use that helmet for the final helmet because it was too small to house the servos in the forehead because it would crush up against my skull. Oh my gosh. I was like, I, so I had to reprint the whole thing and redo it. So. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> well, I mean, hold on. I mean, it worked out. Oh, whoa, that looks awesome. Did the eyes light up? I mean, like, it, it's got a ton of mistakes in it. Let me try and focus on there. Like, you can see, like, the paint isn't super clean there. It's got, like, dribble there. Yeah. Really, on the back here, it's, like, not super smooth in some places. But, like... But one of the things with this suit that I'm doing is that, um... As I complete the suit and get better at it, I'm gonna leave each piece as they are. Because, like, I had to go through, like, one of the roughest periods of my life, and I kind of want the suit to represent my growth through it. That's awesome. So, so it'll like, be, like... There's no character growth, basically. That's awesome. There we go. Kind of. Okay, good enough. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So we're back in. Um... We're back. So that's awesome. Like, I love the... Is that the Mark 42? Yeah. It's funny because it happens to be the one that's broken down and keeps breaking all the time, so it, I guess it fits. I mean, it comes apart just like in the, show, in the suit or in the show. Moving. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, just like my mental health. <laughs> <laughs> I, I completely get that. <laughs> With oh, all the people yeah. I've we, talked to. We love character growth. You know what? Character growth is the best thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, like, I've gotten a lot of people that are not like me in this community, and I understand why. And I'm just like, all I can do is be better. That's all anyone can do, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's kind of the whole point of this thing, is to just be yourself. And if yeah. people don't like that, then damn, that sucks for them. Oh well. Yeah. Um, so do you have any like cause plans for the future? Oh god, yeah. <laughs> um, so have you ever watched the show Ruby? I have not. Yeah. Alright, so um I plan to build uh the Crescent Road from a show called Ruby, which is R W B Y by Rooster Teeth. Um the main and uh, that's used by the main character Ruby Rose. And so I plan to build that entire site, which is about as tall as me, probably. Which I'm like 5'7". Wow. May, might be taller, actually. Um, but yeah, that's going to be fun. As well as Scissor Blade from uh, Kill a Kill. That's used by the main character, Ryuko. Uh, that's going to be a fun cosplay. At least I'm not doing the super skimpy version yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, Listen, that that whole show is about less clothes, it's more power, so like it's like it's like an evil version of Dragon Ball where it's more hair, more power. Oh my god. It's gosh. just less clothes, more power. So, yeah, that that's a plan. Of course some Genshin stuff, um, that I haven't decided on yet, but less Spider Man stuff in the future because I kinda wanna shift the break from that. That's fair. I uh I did Other than use, the ninety four suit. I did use your symbiote. Uh, image for the profile picture just so it lines up with all the Spider-Man cosplayers I have for the covers. Oh, oh fair enough. I mean, I have uh, my profile picture from uh, my Instagram and YouTube, though, which is also half Spider-Man, half Mona, so it technically lines up. That's fair. So, um, that suit that is for those pictures, that's your spider sona yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that was a fun design process. So, you made the first one, and then you also made the symbiote one, or was it, like, the other way around? Yeah, uh, no, I did, uh, it in that order, so, um, yeah, I made my, uh, first spider Sona as, like, a thing, because, like, a, another, uh, cosplayer friend of mine, uh, Las Vegas Spidey, uh, he was doing a story at the time, and he wanted some spider Sona. I was like, okay, hold on, let me cook. 
And so I cooked up uh, that, uh, the classic suit version, then eventually cooked up the symbiote suit version, which the process basically, I have, I drew the design on a piece of paper. I had an artist, uh, Kanzeki Art, uh, he did uh, actual like decent like a uh, character sheet for it. I sent it off to a uh, pattern maker, which was Re Real Hero Designs. And I sent the pattern off to service to get the suit made. I had Zack, Sensational Spidey, make my face shells, and that, and there they are. So how much did that suit cost in total? Uh, which one? Uh, let's just say the first, like, classic. The classic? That was actually the second suit I got, physically. But, oh, uh, so I got that to prove a point with the RPC Studio. So that costs like probably like 600 bucks. Wow. And that's why I did the prove a point because RPC is classified as like the best like place against Spider-Man suits. I'm just like, nah, nah, you can, you're getting a white spandex suit. They could get a print costumes or hero time or anywhere else for like less than a fifth of the price. Well, actually, no, probably like more like a third of the price with all the add-ons like shoes, puff paint, and yeah. all that. But I just wanted to be able to get a video out on that saying, "Don't do it. <laughs> it's not worth it." That's... Because no one else has really done it. And I wanted to take the L on that one. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but the uh, symbiote suit was like 200 bucks, but that was from uh, Print Costumes, which is more understandable. Yeah. And it was on colored fabric, actually, so that was great. <laughs> Do you recommend a colored or just the normal fabric? Oh, colored if possible, if the uh, print allows it. Because, right. like, if you have, like, a, let's say, like, a white emblem, like an advanced suit, yeah, you pretty much have to go with uh, white fabric, unless, like, you have a version like mine from ATX Spider, which doesn't have like any of the white details on it where you have to add them on yourself later yeah then you can do that but with all the white details on the print you have to go uh white spandex or something so for white detailing were you saying the colored fabric or just the normal white uh white fabric like uh but most cases i'd say just go colored you might have to like puff paint or like get like pretty emblems for it but go for it awesome I know that's what I'm going to do for mine, because I um, have a lot yeah. of white emblems. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, what suit are you doing? Uh, I'm doing my own suit that I designed. Oh, okay. I, is uh, it just like white emblems, or is like other white stuff on it? Um, it has white... It's basically the classic suit, because it's my rendition of the okay. classic suit. Yeah. Um, and it has white everywhere that the red touches the blue. Oh, so basically white borders, okay. Yeah, exactly. And then I mean, a white you, black. What thing. you can, oh, yeah. What you can do with that is you can get it on colored fabric, and you can, if you go for print costumes, they're able to actually like um, put like an iron on like a thing for it, like that's white. I have that on my symbiote suit, and you saw how that looks. Yeah. Um, you can get that done, and then just like if you feel confident enough, just puff paint the uh, borders. Yeah. And then I was also going to do screen so printing, that so that might help. Yeah. Screen printing. Oh. Uh, with screen printing emblems, that's basically what they call it on there, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not screen printing. It's not? No, it's literally just like um, like a piece of vinyl they iron onto it. I don't know what they call it, screen printing. That seems dumb. Uh, I mean, it looks great, though. It does. Yeah. Um, it's like I'm, I'm budgeting. Like, I... Yeah. Yeah. I'm every, all money I get is going into a jar I have over here. And then I I have a GoFundMe that I'm oh. that I've had up for two months. There you go. Huh? Did you earn like two bucks yet? Nothing. Nothing yet. Ah, thank you. Go donate to your girls GoFundMe. Thank you. But yes, yes. I'm super excited. It's an expensive hobby. It really is. I mean, like, unless you're yeah. sewing it yourself, which is a lot cheaper. Yeah. It, it's a lot cheaper, but it's still expensive. It's really expensive. Yeah. Especially if you're working with actual screen printed, like, movie quality fabrics. Oh, my God. Exactly. So I just know that once I actually get my suit, I'm probably not going to get out of it for quite a while. 
Because, like, I'll probably live in that thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes normally. So what what is your preference for, like, those kind of suits? Do you prefer, like, a seven-piece suit or... No. No. I don't really see too much of a point in them, to be honest. That's just my opinion. I got plenty of hot takes on this stuff, but uh, I think some piece suits, suits are completely unnecessary. That's really? my hot take, but they look nice when you do them. I'm not going to discount that. That's fine. Uh, why I'm just, is it? I'm not it's just a lot of separate pieces you got to keep track of because, like, well, for one thing, it's just personal. This one, this bit's just personal. I lose a lot of things. That's I have fine. terrible memory. I will literally have something in my hand, look for it for an hour, and I'm like, oh, there it is. That's like, fair. I do that all the time. And just like when you got seven pieces, seven piece suit, you have a lot of pieces to keep track of, and you can lose, especially if you're taking it to a con or something like that. And it gets mixed in with like, if you're with roommates, it gets mixed in with your roommate stuff. I've had that happen already, and I lost stuff. It's it can be a lot of fun keeping track of it and also it can just be a hassle sometimes just to put on yeah it's like one piece suit just put on the thing go for the u-shape bend over a little bit get in through there you're in let's say for me i prefer so, it yeah for for me i prefer the seven piece because i'm doing a fan film so it's like oh yeah okay i i know i want my peter to have removable gloves and that's fair no that's valid completely and then I'm also gonna at some point, uh, I'm gonna get a mannequin so I, I can just always have it on display. Hopefully, you have 800 bucks. I know they're so expensive. I'm just gonna go to like I... a flea market or something and just get mannequin pieces. Yeah, it's probably your best bet to look at like flea markets or garage sales, see if anyone has one. Yeah. But yeah, like um, this. This is probably like the most pieces I have in a suit. My Tasm too, because like the pants are separate. Gotcha. Like it's got a zipper, waist zipper there, and then there's a torso, which I've been. Uh, don't don't mind the broken ones. I gotta get that fixed. Um, that that saved me from a car door actually going right into my eyeball. So. Oh my god. Thank you, Tasm two suit, for saving my eye. Yeah, it's because Tasm two suit is the best. Yeah. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> Why? What, what's your favorite suit? Raimi, of course. Which Raimi? Uh, the 2004 version. Okay. You're wrong, but it's okay. No, no, no. I only have correct opinions. I am the goddess of opinions, so. No, Tasm is clearly the best. Tasm 2. It's the most comic accurate. I'm going to go on like a two minute rant here and say why the, word ter why the term comic accurate means nothing. Go right ahead. When you say comic accurate, do you know how many versions of the comic suit exist? That is fair. By different artists like Mark Bagley, McFarlane, Steve Ditko, Romita Sr., Romita Jr. Which one? I'm, every time someone says comic accurate, I'm just like, which one? Okay, so let, let, let me narrow this down a bit. The eyes are the most overall comic accurate. Oh, again, a lot of the artists drew them very different ways. It's true. But like, I feel like if you layered them on top of each other, like all renditions, which would be insane. Yeah. You're more Actually, they'll to... probably go more towards the MCU version, to be honest. It's probably closer to Death Show, Ramita, and uh, probably, uh, I'm to, I forgot his name, but I'm definitely closer to a lot more of the artists that have done it, even though there's still plenty of differences. That's fair. It's, I don't know, I like Tasm. I like the dark grittiness. Oh, no, it's a gorgeous suit. Yeah. It's a gorgeous suit. It's a valid argument. <laughs> Whenever I'm just like, oh, you're wrong, I'm just clowning. Oh, yeah, no, me too. Yeah. Because, like, nobody's actually wrong about this stuff, because nobody is actually right No, about this it's stuff. it's all in the eye of the beholder. Exactly. I'm just I'm just a sucker for 3D silver webbing. That's why I have silver webbing on my Sona. Silver frames are beautiful, and the emblems are just perfection. I don't know. On the Raimi suit. I loved the um, No Way Home Raimi suit. 
Oh, I never heard someone actually say that. I, I'll be, I'll be the hot take here. I loved the No Way Home Raimi suit. I loved the black lenses. I mean, that part didn't bother me. It's the mask print or the pattern for the webbing that. that bothered me. Even though I did see um, video, I forget who made it. Uh, I think it was Channel Pop that basically talked about like why it was designed like that. I'm just like, okay, it makes sense. Yeah. I still don't like it, but it makes sense. <laughs> I just it's like supposed to contour better to the lenses. Yeah, the which webbing. I feel like it successfully does. Yeah. And I definitely think, I think that suit works for the Toby that it's for, the older one. I, I'm pretty sure they only made it because they rushed remaking the suit because they were able to pull Andrew's suit out of the Sony archives because really? that withstood because it was fully screen printed. Uh, I believe I word for it, but this is what uh, I was told and I also looked into, yeah. I think. Um, but yeah, so they were able to pull Andrew's suits out for like his stump doubles and him. Toby suits were falling apart due to the old technology. Same with his uh, villains were like uh, Alfred Molino and uh, Willem Dafoe. Like their costumes were falling apart and yeah. were just super old. So they remade the suits. And Toby's suit, uh, they fully screen printed the entire suit. So that's why the webbing doesn't look as thick as the original trilogy because it's all just screen printed ink. I was, I was noticing that. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like, oh, okay. That makes sense when I found out about that. He's somebody I want to have on here at some point in his channel, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't been able to talk to him myself, so... <laughs> I've tried. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, like, trying to get as many people on here as possible, because then I can just, like, start getting oh, yeah. the people I like interviewing a lot more. Like, um... That sounded probably really mean. I like interviewing everybody Bruh. I have interviewed. Um, cool. But like, do you know um, Miles, Anakin Monkey? I bring this up in every podcast. Anakin, but not really. Okay, he's kind of a, a rising guy in the Spidey community. Um, mm. He's like my. He's the nicest guy I have ever spoken to. Okay. Okay. But, um, he's like the end goal for the podcast. I'm sure you could probably, like, if you were able to talk to him before, I'm sure you could probably get him on. Yeah, no, I've, I've talked to him. I even asked him, I was like, hey, you want to come on my podcast? And he's like, yeah, fun time, you're open. So I'm like, yeah. You're in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, so, um, what would you say your favorite cosplay you've done? Uh, it, I'm debating between my um. I I'm not I'm not gonna count the mo uh the replica Raimi and uh, Tasm suits that I did because they're on they're are they're in their own league. Yeah. Um. But that was just me blowing money. <laughs> but um. Probably it it's a tie between my symbiote Sona suit and um one of my renditions of Mona from Genshin Impact, because she is just my wife. And then... Probably, uh, like, my favorite one of that was probably that, like, one really long purple dress one that I did. That was, like, yeah, such a fun shoot. Like, oh my god. And I felt like, oh my god, I'm hot. <laughs> I will throw the pictures up, by the way, when I edit it, for what we're talking about. Yeah. Um... So, and then you also did a bunny... Uh-huh, yes, my... I, I, I feel like it's just, like, it, it was inevitable for me to do an up for bunny, because I did a bunny before, but that was just me with pink hair. Yeah. But that was, like, two years ago. I did, oh, my God, almost two years ago. God. Um, but, God, I've only been doing this for two years. Jesus, okay. Um, but... Yeah, yeah, I did a bunny before. I was like, screw it. I want to do a bunny again. And there was a bunny Genshin shoot happening at uh, this convention I was going to. I was like, screw it. We're doing it. Nice. And dang, I felt cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looked really good. I loved your top. Oh, my. Oh, the top? Yeah. Oh, uh, the uh, bunny? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, the whole thing was just super cute. It was. And also, I just love the really shiny leggings. They were like, oh my god, these are amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I, I, I hope to have that confidence. Some days, you just gotta say, screw it. Yeah, exactly. And just not care. Like, that's like what you gotta do sometimes. Just say, screw it. I wanna feel hot today. <laughs> yeah. That's where I am. Today, I'm just in a t-shirt and shorts and that's what i'm feeling yeah it's just like oh i'm an interview might as well just uh wear like one of these nice uh dresses i was able to uh thrift you know it looks good <laughs> thank you yeah the thrift stores are like amazing like i got this thing for like nine bucks like this is probably like a like an 80 dollar dress i got it for like nine bucks i was like bro people are sleeping on thrift stores <laughs> yeah i mean yeah and like not even just for normal clothes, but like even if you look through like yeah. the cosplay community, thrifting is some of the best where you find the best stuff. I oh, yeah, could get like different pieces for like a lot of things. Like, I'm I'm so excited because um, I've never been to a con before, so I'm hoping to be able to oh, go yeah. to my um, local Comic Con esque thing. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's always better to start off small, to be honest, because like if you go to a big one as your first, you can easily get overwhelmed by all the stuff going on. Yeah. And a tip I tell anyone going to a con, try and bring friends, because it can be difficult if you're not like going to like super group functions, like uh, like group cosplay shoots, like a Marvel shoot or like a Genshin Impact shoot or whatever. Because, like, people are already kind of in their own cliques and their own groups, so, like, it can be hard. Yeah. Like, I know I've been dealing with that for a while, but you want to try to bring friends and, like, try and go to, like, these more, like, social events where you can actually start talking to people. Yeah. I'm, uh, I really want to, like, go to a con with, like, just a couple of my family members and just me being the only Spidey and just... Because, like, I was watching videos. Just vibing of people at cons in spidey suits and it was like yeah i've done those it was like the kind of thing of like everybody kind of just clicked together and it was awesome yeah it's just like oh we we also love this character that wears spandex and swings around we are we are the same yes it was one of the best yeah. things yeah, and if you get to enough, you'll just start having like these moments happen where it's just like, oh my god, this is like one of the greatest moments of my life, or just one of the coolest things I've ever done. Yes, I'm so excited. Like, like I had that moment when like um, I did a convention video of the one I did in February where I met Frankly Built on uh, KatsuCon, and probably one of the coolest con moments I've had was probably just standing like next to him for that shot as him as Iron Man doing this and I was just like as ka from Genshin Impact holding my sword I was like I peaked that, that's... but that's a lie because you never stop peeking unless you make yourself stop peeking yeah I mean unless you want to stop peeking which why would you it's the best yeah just keep slaying <laughs> it's I like he's somebody I also want to have I want to have on a lot of people that I probably yeah. won't have on here. But... You could probably hit him up on Instagram. He'll probably talk to you if you uh, get through the uh, request bull crap. I mean, because that system sucks. It it does. Yeah, because like... he's going on like uh, other small podcasts and stuff like that too. So like, it, I'd say there's a shot. Awesome. I need to. Get, I might need to hit him up. Yeah, you should do that. He just hit a million, so that'll be a good that that would be a good time to do it. Yeah, just like hey, you just got famous. Yeah, that's a joke that I put on my stories. Like, oh, he's not famous yet. When was that? Nine hundred ninety k. Yeah, and I was just like, okay, he's famous now. <laughs> that means like most of YouTube isn't famous. Yeah, well, that that is honestly true, and that's is. okay because. Don't treat it like a job, like I was doing it. You're just gonna drain yourself down. Treat it like a hobby, and if you hit it, then you hit it. That's a fantastic, but don't bank on it. Yeah. Like, for me, I'm kind of just like, I have 10 subscribers right now. <laughs> so I mean, that'll go up. Yeah. I'm like, I'm on episode five, or 
Episode four. This is episode four. Um, yeah, four even numbers. Yeah. And I'm filming an episode five a little later. And oh, heck yeah. Yeah. I got a spider cam. I forget who that is. Oh, Clem? I honestly have no idea. I need to check. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chemtacular. Chemtac. Oh, okay, I've heard of him. Yeah. Um, so, I am... I'm excited. I'm trying to get my content out, and I'm also sharing it to people who will actually enjoy it. And hopefully you'll get a, a, a PSM on here eventually. He is, he is one of my goals. Yeah, but I'm, like, like I said, I'm like trying to hit him up. I'm sure maybe he'll respond. He, he can be a bit iffy on that sometimes. I've messaged him quite a bit. <laughs> Like oh, more, okay, I, like I understand. More than the Insta system should allow. Uh, yeah. That's weird, because, like, whenever I message someone on Insta that I haven't messaged before, it only allows me to send it once, and then, like, I have to wait in purgatory. Yeah, it's... I don't know what it is. I think I sent them, like, before they implemented that. Uh, okay. So... Yeah, he doesn't respond very well to DMs, to be honest. He has... No. I think a lot of people trying to hit him up and just like so don't feel bad about it. He probably gets spammed a lot. Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's like I feel like you can't be yep. well known without getting spammed a lot. Yeah, it just like probably like five billion questions. Like, oh look at my spider soda. Hi, I love your content. Or like, hi, 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 hi. Like a billion people just saying hi. Exactly. It's just like most of my spam is just spam promoters on, <laughs> on Instagram. That's what I get. I've gotten like five different accounts for podcasts just trying to message me and be like, hey, we saw you used our hashtag. Yeah, and I, uh, on TikTok, I just don't reply to those DMs at all because, like, I have like 30 some K on there, and it's most of my DMs just like, where do I buy this? How do I buy this? What do I do to buy this? Can I buy this from you? I'm just like, are you selling stuff? I mean, I make face shells, but whenever they ask me if they buy stuff, it's always for like the Tasm 2 suit. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, no, I don't make that. I even have on the TikTok, it's buy the amazing spider lab, but That's... people don't read the captions. No, nobody reads it's, the captions. It... I've even had people on YouTube videos like, oh, where can I buy this suit? Where can I buy this suit? Wonder what it says in the title. Great costume showcase. Just like, <laughs> bro. People are I'm not helping you. If you can't see that, I, there ain't no, there ain't no helping you. I'm sorry. Um, what's your preferred shop to like get your suit at? Print costumes because they send me free stuff if people use my code. Okay. How how did you? But for. The code? Uh, so I made a couple videos, um, and they handed out like candy. So I made a video or two. I said, hey, can I get a code? I saw other people have a code like. Uh, like, uh, what was his name? It was, okay. um, a guy named Pat. Uh, he changed his name on YouTube. Um, I think it's like Pat oh, Blocker or something like that. I forget his last name. Or Patrick. Oh, um, I know but, exactly. I think I'm going to have him on here. Yeah, so he had a code. I was like, hey, hey, print costumes. Can I get one of these too? And they're like, yeah, sure. Have this candy. And I got the candy for like 15% off. And then people use it. And after I get so many people to use it, I get like points on it. Like, I get certain amount of points when people use it, and when I get certain amount of points, I can get free suits with whatever options I want. I could even get puff painted suits if I want. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Yeah, it, it's it's fantastic. So that's I awesome. don't even pay for most of my Spider-Man suits anymore unless I go for a Hero's Dime, which is where I'd want to go for more complicated patterns. Yeah. Like, like for the Insomniac suit that I'm doing, uh, print uh, hero time. They do it way quicker, and print costume is not very good at complicated patterns. At really, yeah, and they also take like two months. That's so, I mean, like I'm willing to wait two months for something I didn't pay for. Like that's not a problem to me. But I'm just like I would not do that for something more complicated that might be messed up when I get it. Yeah, that's kind of where I am. Because I've like, had that happen. I am putting so much faith into print costume like two hundred dollars worth of faith and i'm just yeah 
It's yeah. Well, if it's like a basic, like pattern base, like a Ramy base or whatever, yeah. um, it should be fine. Yeah, like um, I used real heroes to make mine. Um, yep, that's who did my Sona patterns. He's great. Yeah, I I think I mentioned him in like every video. So if yeah, anybody he, he is the out, god. So um, he's just yeah, he does incredible work. Like um, my here one sec. Uh, Okay, uh, you can't see it. Never mind. One sec, I just messed something. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't hear you ever. Oh, oh, wait, oh okay. there, there you're back. There back? you are. I'm back. You're back. Okay, uh, well, I tried clicking something and it didn't work. But, like... Yeah, don't do that ever again. <laughs> I was, uh, I was gonna change my... Or I was gonna show you, but... I changed my background on my phone. Uh, it used to be the pattern that he made for me. It was just, like, okay. a zoom-in of the logo. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. But... Yeah. So, have uh, you... Like, I've been... Ooh, sorry. Uh, no, I was just gonna ask... Oh, no, no, cool. Have you done any no, it was random projects, like, um, outside of a full cosplay? Uh, well, usually when I build something, um, it usually is for, like, an actual cosplay that I'm doing. I haven't, like done a single like prop or like face show for a suit that I haven't done yet like uh even like my first like cosplay like weapon which was a dagger from Genshin Impact for a uh, Kukubisha Noble yeah that was for a cosplay too yeah but the only prop that I'm working on right now that isn't for like an actual cosplay because I already have one is a personal Raimi shell for like display that's fair which uh I yeah, which I plan to do, like, high-quality paints and stuff like that on it. Nice. That way, like, it just, like, looks pretty on the shelf. What kind of face shells do you make? Uh, Spider-Man. <laughs> but, um, I, uh, either A, I make them for myself, or whatever suit I want to do, or B, whenever a client approaches me and wants me to print one, so that way I can make a little extra move while so I can spend either A on a new fashion addiction that I've developed, so that way I can work hot, or B, uh, my art commission addiction. So, oh wait, I'm addicted to art. You commission people to do art, or you take art commissions? Oh, I commission people to make art, mostly of my uh, OC, which is my channel mascot, which is like the fox girl, if you've seen her. Yes, I have. I, I was gonna show it, but yeah, like, I can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little obsessed. Just a little bit? Because yeah, just, just a little bit. I mean, who isn't with their original characters? Yeah, that's like everything I use for all my logos. Yeah, like I gave her like a, a Venom symbiote version just because I thought it looked cool. And it looks cool. It does. Yeah. Uh, lover. Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so I make it a point to ask everyone this in all my podcasts. Who is your favorite live-action Spidey of all time? Toby. Toby? Toby. Why? I, I, I just, like, I could see your judgmental expression, just like... <laughs> I'm trying to hide it, I promise. No, it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Bro, it's because, like, that's the one I grew up on. Like, I've was obsessed with the movies back as a kid, like a lot of us was. There's nothing special about that. Um, but, like, just, like, the whimsical, like, uh, very um, uh, corny world Sam Raimi build up with, it's just, like, such a special charm to it. The suit's gorgeous. The villains are super memorable, even though they died after the first movie, which is a trend. That's true. And it's still kind of a trend, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but, like, they're just, like, very memorable movies and I had a very difficult childhood and they were like one of the few things that got me through it. That's fair. Okay, so, so I take basically back a in bit of my some head. cases yeah. Yeah. In some cases if you think about it I might not be sitting here if uh, it weren't for those movies, so That's fair. No Spider Man three is so goofy. I love Spider Man three. I've never seen Spider Man two. You never saw Spider-Man 2? No, I thought I did for the longest time, and then I found oh out my. that I didn't. 
You're literally missing out on the best Spider-Man movie ever made. I've been told that quite a bit. You need you need to watch it for yourself and make that judgment call. <laughs> you know, what? I'll I'll do that. I'll do that tonight. Yeah, you will totally. <laughs> hey, I might. That's what we all said. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not going to. Oh my gosh! But like, yeah, that's why I spent all that money on a Spidey Planet Raimi suit. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that if I didn't love the character that much. And what? That's why I didn't spend. I spent all that money on a uh, Spidey Planet suit because I just love that character so much. Yes. Which that was more than my car, and I never plan to spend anything like that again ever been on a car. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, um, yeah, that was like, I call that my stupid spending year, and that's over. So now on the more responsible things like payments and. Like what? You know, boring adult stuff. Now on to more boring adult stuff like car insurance payments. Woohoo, the best. I love adulting. <laughs> um, we do not. For me, I just I think I think Toby captured a great Peter Parker. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're trying so hard right now. I think he captured a great Peter Parker. I don't think he captured the best much else. Yeah, because he's a nerd that you want to punch in the face. It's perfect. Exactly. I think Andrew made a great Peter Parker. Or I mean a great Spider Man. Not a great Peter Parker. Yeah, he was he was too cool and too hot to be Peter Parker. Exactly. Like good lord, he, is he I mean, um anyway, moving he is, on. Though. Robert. <laughs> but uh, And then Tom's just like the perfect balance of both, and I think that's just all the community consensus on it. Exactly. Tom is Which Spider-Man. that's one of the few things I agree with the community with. <laughs> yeah. Like changing their opinion that they made Spider-Man 2 was suddenly good out of nowhere. I will never understand how that happened. I think The Amazing Spider-Man 2 could have been great. It could have been. It had so much potential, but did nothing with it. Instead, spat in the face of all of it. Exactly. It's like... At least it was, like, dumb bad, where you could still watch it and be like, this is so dumb, I'm laughing. Exactly. And it's like kind of like Spider-Man Three, but less. Yeah, like for me, I've always, um, I've always liked The Amazing Spider-Man Two, but I only remembered like half of it up until like a year ago. <laughs> and the great part that I remembered was Peter and MJ, which is like the best part of that movie. Uh, that's I meant Gwen. And that happens to be one of the worst parts of the Raimi trilogy. Yeah, exactly. Peter and MJ. Because MJ's character was not good. MJ's character couldn't develop. No. No, it just kept like being the same story beats over and over with it. I was just like, can we evolve this, please? Exactly. We've been over this, please. That's what uh, I like. Uh, that they did I mean, it... Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's just what I liked that they did with the MCU. It was like, MJ is yeah. her own character. Yeah, and then they developed it, and then memory wipe, which I would normally criticize, but it makes sense in this context. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this big memory wipe. Like you could do a lot with it, so I'm okay with that. See, you now it's just like... a big, dumb story thing. Okay, I have to ask this question, just because another spider person. Oh, if boy. they performed a memory wipe spell, and yet almost a very similar spell brought everyone to the, this universe? Does that mean everybody across the multiverse forgot who Peter Parker was? Well, I think um, what, how, how it works, uh, like I can see how you can think that's a plot hole, but really it's not, because that only happened, like, so it affected that universe itself, but only brought a select few characters in, yeah. right? And so, like, it did kind of rip a hole in the multiverse for that universe and then it got connected to those ones but it technically by story standards it's technically supposed to be random it just happened to be those two versions yeah but um so when they reverse the spell because nothing was really affected in like those peter's timelines at that point like yeah they were just brought over and 
basically what happened is just like the characters were all replaced back to the same point where they were taken out of. And so those Peters will be put back in their timeline like nothing happened, just like with um, uh, the other characters, just the only ones that know what happened was those characters. Yeah. The rest of the world and the universe is fine. Like, it fixed the universe. Gotcha. See, I wasn't thinking as so much like of a plot it, hole yeah. as much as it was just, like, a thing that they didn't really think about that happened after. Uh, yeah, no, they thought about it. Okay. So, I can definitely see, though, it wasn't, like, really explained very well. Yeah. Or at all. But It was kind yeah, of just it, left over. It was fine. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> Alright, but I think we're reaching the end here. So, thank you so much for coming on. Of course. Um, and I'm going to do a little outro. Hulu. <laughs> Subscribe to Pure Kaya and, and the podcast. Heck yeah. Hulu. <laughs> okay. Hey, y'all. Um, thank you for coming on the podcast. But, but, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, tune in the next episode where, like I said, I'm interviewing Chemtacular, which I'm going to go film after this. So, all right. See ya. Bye, y'all.